over here, though, we do have a special weapon, if you will. It's only there whenever you're playing a replayed game, and uh, we'll be seeing more use of that later. For right now, though, we'll just be continuing on. Uh, I don't think Silent Hill Ranch has any special meaning. It never really comes up again. It's just the it's the developer trying to give some flavor in life to uh, some general areas, making sure that even even the back roads of Silent Hill have some character and life to them. So it seems that we are getting closer and closer to the city proper as it seems we've left the rural areas behind. Um, you'll see a waterway down here that actually seems to be some connection between maybe the farmlands and um, Toluca Lake. We'll be learning more about Toluca Lake uh, later on in the game, but for right now it's, it's enough to say that you probably don't want to be drinking the water from Toluca Lake. Um, if only for the real meaning behind what happened in those waters. So while James catches his breath, we are just going to check the map real quick. As it appears, we are finally in Silent Hill proper. And we just have to, just have to get up to Rosewater Park, so it looks like it's just straight up Lindsay Street and to Nathan Avenue. But before we do that, it's always good to search around the streets of Silent Hill, especially near the businesses, because there is a good chance that there is an item laying around. In this case, it is a first aid kit which is one of three healing items in the game. The first aid kit is basically medium healing. Uh, we'll be getting the next and lowest healing item in just a little bit, but you know we should probably continue heading on down to Lindsay so we can you know head up to Nathan. I will be stopping every so often to look at some signs, but it looks like there's some blood on the road. Well, since that was the direction we are going either way, I suppose uh, we might as well follow the shadow. Uh, following the shadow is also kind of reminiscent about how the beginning of Silent Hill 1 started out, where uh, Mr. Mason was apparently chasing after a shadow of his missing daughter. Uh, for right now though, obviously, that more than likely wasn't Mary. Uh, but here is the healing item I was talking about before, a health drink. Uh, I would say about four health drinks will fill you from danger levels back up to full. And it seems, uh, at least from some of these storefronts, that this is kind of like a metal automotive district. That's something I always kind of enjoyed, at least about the setup of the map, was that they didn't have like a, you know, metal working business right next to a bakery or something like that. It usually had the town sectioned off into like suburban, residential, business areas. It wasn't just kind of willy-nilly set down. But we have another two health drinks in this little sectioned off area and a save point if you do need it, but for for right now obviously we haven't run into any danger yet, so we should be relatively safe and we don't really need the save point. Especially as 
in other as in other horror game or survival horror games uh, certain things you do will have a direct effect on your in-game ranking and one of that is the number of saves you have so you know I kinda wanna keep saves to a minimum but uh, we can assume that the the shadow might have gone down here so it looks like it's kinda bottlenecking And welcome to our first taste of combat. Uh, I'll be going more into in depth into that in the next video, and also about this particular enemy. But after I get down my depth perception, uh, he actually goes down pretty pretty quickly. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. But yeah, in the future, the enemies won't go down quite so easily. But with that, we are pretty much at the end of the first video. There's going to be a little cutscene after this, but uh, we'll see you next time on more Silent Hill 2. Oh, yeah. This thing broken? Take it anyway. I might need it. <laughs>